Welcome to Learning with Meek, the Insurance Geek. Uh, I'm your host, that's Joel Meek, so I'm the geek. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, these videos, we try to cover a number of topics that uh, come up in you know day-to-day -day activities and questions from clients and uh, just people in general. And so we try to cover those topics uh, here. And one of the, the common things we hear uh, with auto insurance specifically is someone, a current client may give us a call and they'll, they'll ask the question, uh, should I go ahead and get rid of my full coverage now that I've paid off my car? And uh, it's, it's a good question, it's a fair question. Um, so I, I'm just going to talk through it exactly the same way that I would talk through it with them. Um, the first question I would always ask is, what do you think the value is of your car, right? Because in Florida, um, let's say for example someone smashed into your car the uninsured motorist is not going to fix your car. That would fall back to your collision, which is what a lot of people call full coverage. So, so if you feel that the value of your car is worth, I'm just going to make up a number, but $7,000, $8,000, $9,000 or even more, um, or maybe a little less, um, I don't know that I would necessarily get rid of your uh, collision coverage because you think you don't need it anymore if losing that amount of money from the value of the car is going to you know, be negative in some way, devastating or even negative. Um, especially if the cost of collision coverage, and it varies from policy to policy, but if it only costs maybe $100 or $200 and that's protecting a you know, six, seven, eight thousand or more dollar asset, I don't know that I would personally get rid of it. Um, I would actually probably keep it. Um, because uh, again, in Florida specifically, uh, if someone hits you and they're underinsured or uninsured and you have to get your car fixed, um, if they're not going to be able to help cover that cost even though they caused it, it is going to fall back to your collision coverage, which means if you dropped that coverage, then you're out of luck. The other aspect of full coverage um, that most people uh, use, and again, full coverage is not even a, an actual term, so I think I understand what they mean, but uh, it is important to, to be very clear. So the other coverage on that is comprehensive. Now comprehensive, I don't know that I would ever get rid of comprehensive, um, even if the, the car is worth $500 to $1,000. And uh, the reason is, number one, it is so inexpensive to carry comprehensive coverage. And, and that is also the coverage that will cover your, your windshield. And if you have comprehensive coverage and you need to either repair or replace your windshield, then the comprehensive is actually going to do that in the state of Florida with no deductible. So if you're paying only $18 or $30 for something um, that's going to give you a you know several hundred dollar windshield replacement, I don't know that I would get rid of it because you're really not going to save much money. Uh, one final thing on this, um, on your comprehensive coverage, I generally would keep no more than the deductible you have on the collision. In fact, I would recommend maybe carrying an even lower deductible. So for example, if your collision deductible is say 500 uh, or 1,000, I'd probably carry 100 or 250 on the comprehensive. You certainly can coverage and uh, carry, excuse me, you certainly can cover, and a lot of people do keep the deductibles the same just so they don't get confused on what the deductible is, but I can just tell you from my own personal policy, uh, we carry a much lower deductible for the comprehensive because the price is not that much different, so why take the extra risk on myself uh, when I can pass that off to the insurance company? So I hope that it helps answer the question. Uh, so when you pay off, uh, first, when you pay off the car, always celebrate. It's always nice to reduce debt. Um, but uh, don't immediately think that, you know, I need to go cut my coverage because the fact is you may actually be uh, getting more bang for your buck uh, than you realize. So if you have any questions, feel free to message us, uh, whether it's uh, the information below or give us a call. We'll be happy to give you guidance. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.